welcome back to my channel where I had promised in the last vlog that I would show you all how I decorated my home with the fall decor because as you all know, once August 1st hits, that is fall time for me. So I went ahead and did a little bit of fall decoration. I didn't really do a lot, but I wanted to show you all the progress of what I did. So if you didn't already see, I had created in, I'm sorry, I'm drinking water. I'm like getting it all over my face. I had um did a vlog of where I went to Marshalls and Ross looking for some fall decor. And so I wanted to show you all, um, you know, how I implemented some of those things around my house. So I want to go ahead and start off with, remember I had bought like those things for like a vase. Um, and so basically I'm going to show you all right here. Let me turn my camera around. This right here is my vase and it is one of those really tall ones. And before I had just a bunch of like Christmas decor sticking out of it for this vase in particular, I had bought like that. Um, it was looking like a, the white feathery stuff. I bought those black feathery looking stuff in the back. And then like these, um, fall colored leaves with like little balls on them. I decided not to put like those white feathery things in the vase just because it was getting a little bit messy. And I think I might use that for, um, when the holidays do, um, end. And it's like that weird time of year where there's like no theme, but this is how it looks. And I think that it looks so pretty. It's just literally a big vase that goes on my staircase. And those are the vibes. So it's very much black and orange vibes right there. So as you can see, my coffee table is very much like the glassy vibes and stuff. So I just topped my table off with this candle right here. Um, it doesn't look like a candle, but it is. I'll show you all in a bit. These are must have fall candles. And I actually did not notice that they were at home goods until I was editing the first vlog. So I will go over um, those with you all in a bit. So here is my fireplace and I have this extremely large pumpkin right here. This is one that my hubby uh, got on sale. It was like on a clearance like years ago. And so I thought it would just add like a cute little touch to right there underneath the fireplace. I kind of want to add more stuff over there, but just not sure what just yet. So all I have right now is this beautiful pumpkin, which goes with those black, gray, you know, glitzy vibes that I have going on in my living room. So as soon as you walk in my door, this is the mantle right here. And I kept it pretty simple. During the holidays, I pretty much go all out with this area. I'm thinking about changing it up in a bit, but I have like those silver trees. I keep them up year round. They're kind of like Christmas themed, but they just look so pretty with the vibes going on in my house that I leave them there. So I just put one of those Rachel Zoe pillows. This is the one I was talking about in the previous vlog they are so beautiful please get your hands on these rachel so pumpkins they're so soft they're beautiful absolutely stunning this one right here is a pumpkin that we got a while ago it says thankful and i leave this one up during christmas time as well just because it has like those beautiful um glitzy vibes to it down here are more of those Rachel Zoe pumpkins. This is the one in black. And then I just put a gold um, little chandelier or lamp right here to cover the outlet behind it. And then there's another pillow right there. Last year, I had gotten this little broomstick from Trader Joe's. It was during the fall time and it's basically scented um, like cinnamon um vibes so if they still have them at trader joe's they might be bringing them back soon go ahead and pick one up they smell really good and this is what the little mantle looks like right when you walk in so it's very simple i might glam it up just a little bit more but i think it looks cute and simple for now so now we're basically in the dining room portion and I take a lot of pride in this table. It is a marble table that my hubby and I um, purchased. It was really expensive when we got the house, but I absolutely love how I decorated this table. Like I was saying in the first vlog, the kitchen and the dining room are going to have very much fall vibes. My living room has more of that glamorous, sparkle, gold, black, white, silver vibes, where this is going to have more of those autumn color. So what I did was I already had this vase with white flowers in it. Let me go ahead and fix that. Whatever. And so I've had this little wreath for a while and it's basically just like a very fall time looking wreath. It has the leaves, the pumpkins. Um, it's really, really pretty. It's super sparkly. I love anything that has sparkle. So all I did was I took this vase and planted it in the center and kind of used it as a centerpiece for the table. 
Then I've had this bouquet for a while. I want to say it was from Michael's or Home Goods or Marshall's. It was from one of those like last year. And all I did was I stuck it in the middle of these white flower vases so that when you see it from a distance, it literally looks like, you know, like when you go to a wedding and the tables are just topped with like the most beautiful flower displays. That's kind of like the vibes. It looks like it is just so pretty. And so I'm focusing my camera because every time I zoom in and out, it like blurs the background or tries to focus on the object at hand. But this is what this looks like. And then I topped it. I basically finished up the table with like the two candles on the side. I thought it would just look really, really pretty. Right here, this is something that just says harvest blessings. And then down there is where I could put like another candle inside. It's just basically like an empty candle jar. But I think it looks super pretty. I think it looks gorgeous on the marble table. Like it's just absolutely stunning in my opinion. It gives those very warm vibes, very like Thanksgiving vibes, very fall vibes. I just, I love it so, so much. Um, so that is what this table looks like so far. So for my kitchen, I basically have like these really nice big countertops, but I haven't really decorated much of the kitchen. And all I have right here is this really beautiful thing that says family where life begins and love never ends. And it has like those gold, like, you know, orangey vibes to it. I have it next to the window here in the kitchen. Um, so it just gives it like a little cute um, touch of autumn. Right here next to the pantry, I have this right here and I've had this for a while. It's like a, it says three things on it. Grateful, thankful, and blessed. And it just looks super cute next to the pantry. It just gives it kind of a little bit of like a fall vibe. Looks very, very nice. Um, and just adds like a little bit of warmth to the kitchen. So next to the stove, I have right here just this really pretty like pumpkin. Um, it reminds me of like a Cinderella looking pumpkin. It's just like very like, um, copper vibes um orange vibes obviously the fall vibes and it adds just like a cute little touch to the kitchen right next to the stove i think it's just cute i don't really have much on my countertop now excuse like the little mess right here i went to the store i have like you know my fruit basket i switched my purses um taking back those to kohl's those are my lotions because i was trying to move stuff around right here i like to leave like my keys and my rings when i'm heading out the door and when you come around i basically just have um, the little pumpkin sitting with these little rabbits because as you all know, I love my rabbits and um, Yeah, and so that candle I just put there just because you know I was moving stuff around but I want to talk to you all about these pumpkin candles that are at home goods I don't know if this is the most flattering angle, but whatever. Okay. So anyways when I was finishing up the vlog um, when I was editing the first one I had saw um, that black pumpkin that I showed you all on my coffee table. This is one that I've had, but basically I literally paused when I was editing that video, ran to home goods, picked up all the pumpkin candles that they had. I'm going to try and open this for you. It's kind of like hard to open. And I can't, it's hard for me to smell, but these smell divine. These are Martha Stewart pumpkin candles. They are so freaking pretty because they come in so many different color. Marshall's had them in like a deep maroon. You can put them anywhere. You could put them on your kitchen countertop. You can put them on a mantle. You could put them as like a dining room table, um, um, little centerpiece. But what I love about these so much is the smell, you guys. It is like the perfect, like pumpkin candy smell, warm smell ever. Like you will literally burn these in like a day or two days because they smell so good. You're going to want to have this candle, like literally burning the entire day. Run, do not walk to TJ Maxx, Marshall's home goods and get you one of these candles. You will literally see, um, as long as they look like this, go ahead and open it up. Um, take off the top, make sure it smells like pumpkin. Make sure the tag says Martha Stewart. Last year, they were only $7 and 99 cents, but as we all know, there's inflation. So these went up to $9 and 99 cents and the black ones were $12 and 99 cents. So they went up a lot, but these are literally the best fall candles to have. I would say even skip out on the Bath and Body Works candles, get these Martha Stewart ones. I'm telling you the best fall smell you will ever smell in a candle. The best pumpkin smell, the best ever. I am in love with these candles. I'm waiting a little bit to burn them. I'm kind of waiting towards a little bit of mid-August where, you know, Starbucks starts to bring out their pumpkin spice lattes and then I will start burning these, but they are so pretty. I literally have a stash of them in one of my drawers because I cannot wait to burn them. And if I do see any more, I'm just going to go ahead and pick them up because they only bring these candles, this scent around during fall. Like they don't bring this scent around during Christmas, during the other their off seasons 
only fall. So you have to get your hands on these candles. They are the best. Okay, I went ahead and opened up the window just because the lighting in here is just a little wacky. Um, so one more thing I wanted to go over that you all need for entering this fall time is from Bath and Body Works, the Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte Hand Cream. It comes in a different packaging now. It's more of like a beige vibes. I have them upstairs, but I don't want to run upstairs because I'm using this one. If you all want to smell like an expensive pumpkin, you have to get this cream. This is my favorite cream. It's the only cream that I really use and it just smells so good. It has hyaluronic acid. It has shea butter in it. Sometimes Bath and Body Works has buy three, get three free. Sometimes they'll have like buy three, get one free. When they have those sales, literally get this. Run, don't walk. They only bring this in up until like around Thanksgiving. This scent kind of goes away um, during Christmas time. And so I was so bummed because last year when Christmas hit, I was like, oh my God, I want more of this because I want to use this year round. So I've literally been using this one so generously that now I have a ton of these. I went to Bath and Body Works and got so many of these because I had a gift card and then they had buy three, get three free. So if you want to kick off August and September and smelling like fall vibes, you have to get this lotion. It smells phenomenal. Way better lighting over here. I really need to film in front of my kitchen window, but whatever. Um, I don't want to redo all the footage I just did because everything I talk about with you guys is genuine. It's not rehearsed, none of that. So um, this was a quick little video. I just wanted to show you like some progress on how I've updated my house. If I do decide to update it more and change things around, which I think I am just because I'm not fully like settled with, you know, if I'm so happy with how I decorated it. And if I do, I will create another vlog of like an updated fall decor um, with me. So if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Click that bell so you get notified of every time that I do upload, upload a video. <laughs> please always remember to be kind and spread peace, love, and happiness. I will see you all in my next video.